Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Fantasy 420, where today we are going to be doing another 2019 Fantasy Baseball Mock Draft. Today we will be starting from the uh, number one draft position. Thought it'd be a good idea to pick Mike Trout and surround him with some fun players. Uh, also, like we've been doing for our other Mock Draft videos previously, I did change the starting pitchers to four and the relief pitchers to zero which has been my preference in my personal fantasy baseball leagues. So we're just going to do that for this draft, leave the relief pitchers out. And as always, we're doing this on fantasypros.com. You should probably be practicing a draft every once in a while if you do plan on succeeding and winning a championship in your fantasy baseball league. And this is the perfect place to do it without any human controlled players. So like I said, mentioned, we are going to pick from the first spot and slam the draft button on Mike Trout. Anytime where you can pick his generational talent and provide statistics from every walk of fantasy baseball life, I just think you have to do that there. And then we get the ever so valuable two picks in a row. So I get to choose whoever I want back to back. Some decent names on the list. We have uh, Charlie Blackman, who I like, in Colorado. We have Chris Bryan, who I mentioned. We also have a couple of uh, starters who I like. Aaron Nola, Blake Snell, Luis Severino, even Trevor Bauer. I'm going to be seeing a poor division down there in Cleveland. I'm actually going to highlight these guys who I like. Juan Soto I also like. I'm actually going to take Blackman. Uh, since I have Trout already to bash a bunch of home runs, I'll have Blackman to steady out that average, give me a bunch of average. And then for my next pick, I think I'm going to take my boy from last year, Aaron Nola. He actually played extremely well. And then with adding Bryce Harper, Juan Segura, and I think a better lineup, there's no reason why he can't be an ace again this season. So I'm going to utilize the high drafted players tool since uh, getting a little deeper down there. I have a bunch more names. So I have uh, Joey Voto on this list who I like, Suarez, Paxton, Ozuna. So I have a bunch of hitters who I like in a row. So I think... Oh, I'm drafting back-to-back, -back, duh. So I'm going to take James Paxton. Just really high K upside. The Yankees trade helps him get more wins. So uh, I'm going to take James Paxton there. And for my next pick, it's between my two Cincinnati guys who I've bought into so far this year. I like Voto and I like Suarez. I'll actually take Suarez. I think he's a little bit... More reliable this season than Voto. Maybe Voto falls off a cliff because he really is too old. So we'll go with Suarez. I think a little bit more reliable this year. And that was fortunate because I did get a um, really good first baseman back to me. I really like Daniel Murphy. I think I've probably picked him on every mock draft team so far this year. So... Uh, just hitting in Coors Field. I got a couple of uh, Rockies there, so that'll be nice to watch those video game Coors numbers pop up. So I have Jack Flaherty. Ooh, I'm actually going to take uh, Mitch Haniger, fill out my uh, outfield. But yeah, I like Haniger there. He's a stud. So probably be an awesome outfield going forward. I like this team a lot so far. A lot of decent names up there. Turner, I mentioned. Olsen, Gennett. Kind of need a second baseman. Um, German Marquez, I have mentioned him for. Man, um, you know what? I think I might have to do the Colorado Rockies team. Pick three Rockies there. Show you guys how far my Rocky love goes. And I think that's good value there. End of the eighth round. Young talent won you a lot of fantasy playoff leagues. So I've told you guys how much I love Marquez. 
And then you know what? I'm gonna take Gennett. So it's <laughs> Reds, Reds and uh, Reds and Rockies today. We're just gonna take all the Reds and Rockies. But yeah, Gennett would be nice there because in Yahoo he could slide around. He's usually like a second base, outfield, third base, shortstop. He plays all those positions. So that's really nice. Actually got um, this has been a nice draft. I've gotten players I really like to fall to me. Uh, made my decisions pretty easy. I've told you how much I like Robinson Cano. I love that pick there. Just uh, prioritizing that. He's going to the Mets. There's reason for him to do well, and they should be up there for that division. And then I have a few more pitchers I like. I like Louis, Louis Castillo, and I do like Chris Archer. Um, well, we're doing Reds and Rockies, so might as well, right? Have some fun with this draft. Pick some Reds and Rockies. I do like both of those teams to make a step forward. And, you know, I, buying into Castillo uh, to rebound and have a good season is probably a little more reliable than betting on Archer to get that sub for ERA in a season where he's about four years older. So, And you know what? We got Chris Archer to come back. So... Boom, we'll take that. Really like this pitching staff going forward. We can focus on areas of our team. Otherwise, that might be a little bit poor. So I do see a name that sticks out to me in an area of need. So I do need a catcher. And I think I am going to take Yasmani Grandel here. I have mentioned him, um, I believe, in the catcher's video, one of my first videos I made. But... I will definitely buy into that situation in Milwaukee, hitting in the middle of that lineup that should be contending. And then uh, a lot of reason for him to do well last year, sort of a bummer year. And look, I got a nice shortstop to come back to me to fill it in there with uh, Mr. Andrews. Hopefully he can stay healthy and then he'll be hitting really high in that Texas lineup and Tyler Glasnow who I've mentioned uh, going to Tampa Bay. A lot of reason for him to prove his career was uh, is going to be a success going forward. So, man, I just really like how this draft has gone and how everybody has fallen to me. Miguel Cabrera might be nice to take a little uh, risky pick here. Um, Eric Hosmer I've mentioned I really like now that they've got Machado there to provide him a little bit of back up. Um, hmm. I think I, for my first pick, I am going to take Hosmer and fill in that uh, other utility. And it also gives me a first baseman. A little low on those. And let's take a look at uh, what starting pitchers we got going on here. There you go. Alex Reyes. I don't think he'd make it to me coming back. I'd be awfully bummed out. If he can stay healthy, you could have a starting pitcher one or two in the 17th round. Pretty hard to argue with that value over there. Um, bunch of catchers went. That's a bummer. Would have been nice to have a decent backup. Let's see who's over here for starters. Might be decent to bet on uh, Joe Musgrove. Um, Justin Smoke, but we can wait on that if we even wanted to. Um, Eaton, who I've also mentioned I like, DeJong. Might be decent to buy into him, especially because of Andrews being our starter. So I'm going to take Musgrove, I think, here. Decent ERA. And then... Uh, He's a young guy pitching for that Pirates rotation. So let's take the risk there with him. And then let's take DeJong. Maybe he can break out this year. And then, like I said, we have a little platoon there, and hopefully one of them works out. Like you see already, we have Adam Eaton. Now that Harper's gone, he's going to play a lot more, provide you with some uh, steals really late on in the draft. 
So we actually do have a backup catcher name who I saw who I really liked. That's going to be Francisco Cervelli. He hits higher in that Pirates lineup than most hitters normally do for their respective teams. So I got a decent bench here, especially with the utility I have going on. I don't think, unless I really like a hitter here, I could just take a flyer on a bunch of pitchers in a row that I like, and then I can sort of monitor the waiver wire for hitters and see who's hot, and like I said, use those names that I mentioned to uh, fill in for now. So I have mentioned Michael Waka, why I really like him. Vince Velasquez, I'm starting to like him more and more. He's got good uh, peripheral numbers, innings pitch to Ks, and then if that ERA comes down, he's a young guy pitching for the Phillies, so I will take him there. And then to end out my draft, probably end it with a Michael Pineda. I usually always take him or some other pitcher that you like down here. Just take a bet that that guy may pan out for you. So let's just take him. Act like this is a real draft. That is our fantasy pros grade of what I did. I did take a lot of their recommended picks. So that's why this is probably going to be a 93% A. But that being said, I do like this team all around. Um, Andrews is a little bit scary in that starting lineup. Um, but I do like this pitching top to bottom. I do love that outfield, and I think you have uh, really good hitters. So thank you for watching today, guys. It was a pleasure doing another mock draft with you, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.